Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to create an animation blueprint with character jumping from complete scratch. To get started, we're first going to create a blend space for our character. So, to do that we want to right click and go to animation and select blend space 1D. Then we want to select the character that we want to create the blend space for and we just want to give this an appropriate name. Once we've done that, you can double click and head inside here. So this blend space will basically show the character's idle, walking and running animation. Under the axis settings, under name, I'm just going to call this speed. And we can see that this goes from a value of 0 to 100. When our character's speed is 0, we're going to make them do that idle animation. So I'm going to look for my character's idle animation and just drag this all the way to the value of 0. When our character's speed is 50, which is halfway here, we're going to make our character do their walking animation. So I'm going to look for their walking animation and just drag this here. When our character speed is 100, we're going to make them do their running animation. So I'll drag their running animation and just place this here. You can click Shift Enter and it'll bring up this little green preview icon and we'll just filter here to see how our character will look at their different speeds. Once we've done this, we can click Save and we can close this. Next, we're going to create the animation blueprint for our character. So we'll just right click and go Animation and select Animation Blueprint and then select the character that we want to create this for. And again, give this an appropriate name. So I'll just call this character animation blueprint and open it up. Inside this animation blueprint, we're going to right click and look for a new state machine and just hook this into here. So what's inside the state machine will basically control the final output animation that our character is going to do. So we want to head inside here. And the first thing we want to do is to drag in our character blend space and hook this into here. Then we want to double click and head inside here. We just want to right click on here and promote this to a variable and just call this speed. So this speed variable will basically control whether our characters are doing their idle or running animation. So I'm just going to click compile and let's say I change the speed to be 100, our character will start running. However, I change this to be zero, our character will stop running and be doing their idle animation. So now we set it up so that our character has idle, walking and running animations that they can transition between. Next we're going to set it up so that our character also has some jumping animations that they can transition between. So in order to set up a jump for your character, they need to have a jumping up animation, they need to have a landing animation and they also need to have an animation of them just hovering slash falling through the sky. So what I'm going to do is first drag in my character's jumping up animation, then I'm going to drag in their falling animation. And then I'm going to drag in their landing animation. We then want to hook from our character's blend space to their jumping up animation. And we want to hook from our jumping up animation to their um, falling animation. And we want to hook from their falling animation to their landing animation. And we want to hook from their landing animation to their character blend space. So, in order for our character to enter the jumping up animation, we want to double click and head inside here. And we just want to right click on here and permit this to arrival and call this is in air question mark and head back to our new state machine. When our character is in the air and they're in this current um, walking or idle blend space, they'll enter this jumping up animation. When our character is in their jumping up animation, around 0.2 seconds before this animation ends, we're going to make them enter their um, falling animation, which is the state they're going to be in when they're just falling through the air. So in order to set that up, keep in name what your animation is called. And then we're going to head inside here. We're going to right click and search for the name of the animation. So mine was called jump in. And you just want to go current time jump in and just select it. And then we're going to just drag off this value and look for less than. And I normally go with the value of around 0.2, although you may need to play around with this number. So around like 0.2 before this animation ends, we're going to make our character enter their um, falling animation state. So in order for our character to enter their landing animation state, they need to no longer be in the air. So I'm just going to double click and head inside here and drag the is in air variable. Look for get is in air and drag off here. Look for not boolean and hook this into here. So if our character is no longer in the air, they're going to start to do their landing animation. And in order for our character to transition from their landing animation back to their normal idle walking or running animation, Again, we want to keep a name of what this animation is called. Head inside here 
and just right click and go anim landing current time anim landing and again 0.2 seconds before this animation ends will make them transition back so i'm just going to drag up here and look for less than for the value is going to be 0.2 although you may need to play around with this to make it smooth and then i'll just hook this into here go back to my new state machine and go compile so now if i just um check this is an air my character will do that jumping in animation now they're in this is an air state then if i uncheck it they'll land and go back to their character blend space so now we can just go compile and we have set up um, their new state machine next we basically need to set up this event graph this event graph will basically tell the game what our character speed is and whether they are in the air so the first thing we're going to do is just drag off this try get pawn owner and this is basically the owner of the animation blueprint and what i normally do is just drag off here and look for is valid and take this into here this will just check that this is valid and this has an owner once it has checked that what we're going to do is just drag off here and look for get velocity so we'll get the velocity of this owner and from here, we want to drag up here and look for vector length. And this will basically tell us the speed that this character should be moving at. We want to drag in our speed and look for set speed and hook this into here. Next, we want to be able to determine whether our character is in the air. The way we can do this is if we just drag off the try get pawn owner and we can look for get movement component. And from here, we can just drag up here and look for is falling and if this is ever true that basically means our character is in the air i'm going to strike in this is in air and the set is in there and just hook this into here and hook from here into here and just go compile so with this we basically set up the animation blueprint for our character we just need to apply this to the third person character animation blueprint so to do that I'm going to head over to the third person VP, go to the blueprints, and go to the third person character. And I'm going to go to the viewport, select the mesh, and I'm going to replace this with my um, enemy creature that I have. And for the anim class, so this basically is the animation blueprint for it, I'm going to select the animation blueprint that we just made. So I'm going to look for character animation blueprint. So my capsule is a bit big, so I'm just going to adjust the size of it. So I'm going to make it. Bit small and I'm just gonna move my character so he fits in there okay so now if I go compile and close this we can see my characters doing the idle animation if so I move they start to do my walking animation if I press the space one my character will jump up and then when they land he transitions back to his character movement animation so with that we basically set up a basic animation blueprint for our character I'm now going to show you how to do a couple more things with your animation blueprint. So the first thing I want to show you is you may find that um, when your character transitions between that idle and walking and running animations, it may not be that smooth. If that's the case, you just want to go to asset details and under the details, you just want to search for sample interpolation. And then under this target weight interpolation, you may need to play around with this value. I'm just going to make this like three. And when your character transitions between um, their idle walking and running states, it should be a bit smoother. So did you see that? That, look, that looks just a bit smoother. So next, there's one more thing I want to show you. If your character has loads of different idle animations, you may want your character to just flick between those randomly. In order to set up that effect, we can head back to our character's animation blueprint, head back to the anim graph, and then go to the new state machine, and head inside the character blend space. All we want to do is just right click, look for random sequence player, select it, and then click add array elements or however many um, different idle animations that you have, and just drag your idle animations onto it. Then I only want these animations to play if my character is basically not moving. So, in order to achieve that effect, we can right click. And look for blend by all and under false we just want to hook up here and under true we want to hook up here and connect this into here and the condition for this ball is basically going to be to see if the speed is greater than zero 
Because if that is, that basically we need our characters moving, and we want to be doing their blend space 1D. However, if this is false, then we just basically want them to do one of their random idle animations. So I'm just going to drag off the speed and look for greater than. And put this into here. And we can just leave this at zero. And go compile. And your character should flip between their random idle animations when they're not moving. So with that, we've just gone over how to set up an animation blueprint for your character with jumping. That's all. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.